What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the overall market and we're also going to be covering the SoFi stock. And I'm going to be showing you guys why I believe SoFi will be one of the biggest technology winners inside of 2022. The indexes have also been correcting for a little bit over 70 days. And I'm going to also show you the details why I believe the bottom may have been in last monday and if you find any of this information useful be sure to subscribe to the channel be sure to smash the like button and be sure to drop a comment are you buying up SoFi? what other stocks are you looking at right now let's get into the video so take a look at this guys this was on tom lee's instagram okay this is fun strat and this is one of his tweets he said and look at this evidence suggests retail sentiment is now the worst since april 2013 okay and they did a vote is this bearish or bullish? And you can see there was a little bit over 2,000 votes. And of course, this is bullish because the big money, the hedge funds, you know, they wiped out retail. Lowest sentiment in literally eight to nine years, guys. That is great news that the paper hands have been flushed out of this market. Take a look at this video that CNBC put out. It explains, you know, Tom Lee's uh, fun strats, you know, expectations for 2022. And it's extremely bullish, guys. And that's why I was buying the dip last week. Gary, Dr. J mentions Tom Lee. Uh, and he has some interesting comments out today calling for violent upside in the next three months. Retail sentiment's so bad, he says, it points to that. Uh, in our view, the message from markets is that much of the bad news is priced in. We could see stocks soon stage a sustainable rally. Sentiment is now extremely bearish and at extremes, Extreme. that is a contrarian buy signal. What do you make of that? Do you agree with Jim Labenthal, who said Monday we did put in the bottom? So guys, understand that the market has been selling off on those inflation fears with those rate hikes. And you know, Jerome Powell is not protecting the stock market at all. He is trying to clean out all of that, you know, uh, paper hand money, all those spec investments, guys. They're trying to flush out all of that, you know, watered down money that is not inside of great assets. And they did a great job because we can see on the one year chart, the NASDAQ corrected 18% at one point. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not inside of the market and you're trying to time the market, this is exactly what can happen to you guys. Look at the reversal that NASDAQ has put out. This is the one year chart. But if we look at that six month chart, we can see the NASDAQ has bounced extremely hard after that negative 18% correction. I told you guys, the biggest correction in five years in the NASDAQ was 22%. So guys, when you're talking about a reversal over, you know, 6% in the NASDAQ, that's a great sign that the market is headed into a great direction. And the reason why the NASDAQ is bouncing so hard, retail sentiment is at all-time lows, and then our mega caps, guys. Remember, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, it's all formed around the same six companies. We've already had three of these companies put out their earnings, guys. Apple did solid. Microsoft did solid. Tesla did solid. We only have three left. Google, Amazon, and Facebook. And as you guys can see, the market has great expectations for these companies heading into this week. So once these three companies finish, all six of the largest United States, you know, mega caps have been completed. And the NASDAQ can rally to all-time highs because rates are still at extreme lows. We need the rates to come up to battle inflation. And, you know, it's not going to really hurt companies with, you know, strong cash. All the rate hikes are going to do is slow down the growth a little bit for 2022 over the 2021 comps for these mega caps. Some of the newer, smaller startup companies with no cash flow, they may have some problems. So as you guys can see, every single index accelerated, you know, 2%, 1%, 3 3.5% on the NASDAQ, 3% on the Russell. And we can see SoFi Technologies finished up, you know, 12.5% today. Um, a lot of these stocks have been massively shorted, so a lot of them are, you know, coming up extremely quick. But I believe SoFi to be an extreme winner after they put out that 2022 guidance, guys. And I'm telling you right now, something that these analysts are missing, I believe now that they have the bank charter, SoFi will be a profitable company by the end of 2022. Yes, not 2023. That is because their guidance is going to be readjusted with this bank charter license. So we can see the market cap is still under 10 billion. We're up and the after hours. Is as well these are the companies you want to be buying that are you know changing the world okay they're battling these big banks okay big banks are a legacy market okay if you want to play it safe invest in those six companies we just went over those mega caps okay those are solid companies going to give you sustained growth but this is where you can actually hit a 10x opportunity guys this is a massive massive opportunity the banking industry trillions of dollars the payment industry like galileo is multiple trillions guys 
this is where you want to be at if you're investing in high growth and we've been covering that in, you know the last 50 to 100 videos so guys we're always going over the investor presentation okay a lot of things have changed but those changes have not actually been you know verbally expressed through SoFi itself, the management team. This will be happening in the next earnings report, okay? You can see the guidance for EBITDA was 254 million for 2022, but this is completely wiped out, okay? This has officially changed. If we just scroll down a little bit, we now have the bank charter license, and as you guys can see, everything has now changed okay EBITDA is going you know basically from 254 million to 447 million that is a 10x in EBITDA 42 million to 447 2021 to 2022 you have not seen any analysts cover this in their price targets you've seen price targets pull back that's because nobody really knows what SoFi has under the hood okay we have to wait to see what is under the hood and you're going to get those details on earnings in March Guys, if you scroll down to the investor presentation, page 36 of 36, the last page, you can see the selected projected financial results, you know, when they went public for the analysts. 2021, they got their EBITDA at 27 million, but you can see their 2022 EBITDA is still at 254 million. These, you know, financial results expectations are without a bank charter license. That's what these analysts are going off of, guys. If we go over to net income, you can see they see a negative for 2022. They expect to be profitable in 2023 off of these expectations. Everything is now going to be cut back, in my opinion, a year, potentially a year and a half. We're going to be getting these 2023 numbers in 2022 because EBITDA is doubling to over 454 million this year. So, so these financial projections that these analysts have in their hands right now, they're all wrong. And that's why you continue to hear the exact same thing. Profitability in 2023, profitability in 2023. Guys, SoFi, you know, met 2021 expectations with their student loans completely wiped out half of them. Even with their student loans being pushed back to 2022 May, SoFi was able to pivot in different directions, such as like mortgages, you know, where they're now partnered with Pagaya. So the SoFi management team was able to battle those student loans. And once those student loans also come back, 2022 could be a blowout guidance now that we have the bank charter license. This is going to double EBITDA projections 10x from 2021 to 2022. So basically what I'm saying is be expecting net income positive by the end of this year, not negative 13 million. Be expecting, you know, positive net income, guys. I believe this company is going to be profitable by the end of this year. So guys, I'm not really, you know, excited about the market today because everything bounced, okay? You know, tons and tons of companies were up over 11%, over 18 companies we're up over 11%. So this is not really allowing companies to separate themselves. It's just the massive shorting and the NASDAQ reversal is allowing a lot of companies to bounce back. I'm telling you right now, once this NASDAQ correction is over, the earnings are really going to start to count and the guidance is really going to start to count because, you know, these short coverings are going to slow down and the companies that are really expecting to have, you know, blowout 2022s are going to continue to rally. And SoFi is definitely in that category. You have other companies like Robinhood that are having the exact same price action as SoFi today that put out terrible guidance that aren't even going to be able to reach their 2022, you know, trading volume. So this is absolutely insane when you see everything bounce like this this is just short covering because everything has been massively shorted because of those fears of rate hikes i believe sofi is going to be one of those companies that continue to see this type of sustainable price action the entire year after this guy and if we also take a look at institutional ownership and we scroll down a little bit guys i believe this was at about 44 percent the last time i seen it updated it's now up to 46 percent if we just scroll down you know to the recent buys coming in for today you can see there's a massive amount coming in on the 31st guys take a look at this 300,000 shares, 400,000 shares, 500,000 shares. Guys, these are massive, massive positions being built up right now. I mean, tons and tons of different little institutions and hedge funds. I've, ne I've, never even, I've never even heard of half of these. So guys, some of these buyers are coming in now because they believe that, you know, the stock market is going to reverse back into growth. Guys, any of these CNBC analysts telling you to go into value, go into dividends, they're trying to play it safe, guys. Understand the rates need to be hiked because we need to battle inflation. Now's the time to be buying growth stocks that are down 50 to 80% plus. 
So of course, a lot of technology stocks are bouncing back, like I said before, but some of these market caps are out of this world. Cloudflare is doing like 600 million in revenue, the exact same type of growth, no profits. They're a 31 billion market cap company. This is absolutely insane. If we take a look at a firm, guys, they're at 18 billion market cap, not even near our revenue for SoFi as well. Exact same type of growth, no profits, profitability expected three years from now. Palantir, 27 billion market cap company. That's a little bit higher revenue, about one and a half billion. A growth is near the 30% range while SoFi is near doubled 50 to 60%. Guys, SoFi right now is being treated like a value stock. We're under 10 billion market cap. All those companies I just showed you are literally 20 to 30 billion in market cap value. SoFi could easily triple from here. Now that we have a bank charter license, we are going to have accelerating growth into 2022. We're hosting the 2022 Super Bowl, 100 million viewers. Guys, if we get, you know, 0.5% conversion, that's going to be 500,000, you know, conversion, you know, the week of Super Bowl. That's 500,000 more users. We just added, you know, close to 400,000 users for Q3. I'm really excited to see what the Q4 numbers are. And if you've been watching my last couple of videos for SoFi, you can see the website traffic for Q4 is accelerating to the highest levels all time in November. Great news happening for SoFi. The adoption to digital finance is happening extremely quick. These legacy banks are going to be having their pants down extremely soon, just charging people nonstop fees. A lot of people hold multiple banks because banks don't offer all the assets that people need. And that's why SoFi is the one-stop shop. You just need a little bit more time. The management is going to pull through. You have leadership coming in from Tesla, Amazon, you know, City, USAA. Some of the best leadership has come over to SoFi Technologies. The market cap is extremely low. We're trading around six times sales. Just give it a little bit of time. I'm telling you right now, now is the time to be investing in technology now that these stocks have sold off anywhere from 50 to 80%. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoy doing this video for you. SoFi Technologies has a ton of upside from here. We just need to get past this guidance. And as we can see, the technology sector is reversing hard because all of these mega caps are reporting great earnings. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.